I'm here with head coach Jamie Klusman, coach coming off a win at Mars Hill. You guys have been looking for a SAC road win, finally got one. Uh, what were your thoughts on that game? Um, we were up and down in the game, but you know, it was finally refreshing for us to be in a close game and win it. You know, I feel like all these games previously, we've been in situations where we could have put ourselves, you know, in position to win and we just couldn't figure it out. So it was, it was good to see that maybe those games have paid off and we've learned from them. Um, Mars Hill played great um, in the third and definitely down the stretch in the fourth. So uh, they gave us a little bit of a run there, scared us, you know, for, for a little bit, but then Leah stepped up and hit those two crucial free throws and we were able to relax a little bit after that. Uh, Ada Stanley was back on the court. It was good to see her back. Just talk about her and what she brings to the team. Uh, energy, for sure. Uh, she's constantly talking, um, very motivating, very positive with her teammates. And she was doing that while she was out. But, you know, she has a very unique um, set of offensive skills um, that a lot of teams struggle to guard. Uh, right now, you know, in, in the Mars Hill game, she's got some rust to, to knock off. But that's to be expected when you've been out for over a month. Um, but, you know, she's been in the gym, getting extra shots up, working, you know, to get those kinks out. So, you know, I look forward to her, you know, getting back into the rhythm that she was in before she got hurt. You guys welcome Kataba to the Pryor Center Saturday. What can you tell us about the Indians? Uh, very aggressive, um, play a lot of people and play very fast. Uh, you know, they want to force you into turnovers, create offense from their defense. So definitely going to have our hands full. Um, it's going to be a, a battle. Uh, we gotta we gotta find some extra air in the lungs because it's it's gonna be a long game um, with how many extra possessions they create throughout the game. Right now, like you said, extra possessions they're averaging 16 offensive boards a game. Um, what's gonna be key to limiting those second chances? Uh, it's just gonna be a team effort. You know, we have to be in position uh, defensively to be in position to box out. So. Uh, watching the film back when we played them the first time, a lot of times we were somewhat gambling on defense, getting ourselves out of position on the defensive end. So when the shot goes up, we're not in position to have those box outs. Um, so it's going to be an adjustment. You know, we're going to try not to overplay passing lanes, kind of just keep everyone in front, force them to take a few more outside shots. Um, just take our chances. They're forcing almost 25 turnovers a game right now. What are going to be the offensive keys to victory tomorrow? Uh, just staying calm and composed. Um, I thought we did a great job first half against them, staying calm, and I thought Kaylin did a great job of handling the press. Um, they made a couple adjustments second half, and you know I think Kaylin got a little bit tired. I'm not putting all the pressure on her. And then Nia sometimes doesn't know how to slow down and gets a little fast for herself. Um, but you know we've made some adjustments. We kind of know where the open looks are. You know after watching a lot of film, having film. Uh, with the team yesterday. I think they're they're able to see uh, where they can improve. So just the biggest thing is staying calm, not, not overreacting. The Cavaliers will take on the Indians tomorrow at home at 2 p.m. Thanks, Coach, and good luck. Thank you.